Welcome back. Our final conversation this morning on The Breakfast here on PLOS TV Africa. Uh, sports. Many Nigerians have lambasted the Nigerian Football Federation and Super Falcons coach Randy Wardrum for dropping from a captain of the side, Desire Paranozi, from the list of players for the friendly tournament in Turkey, despite, of course, what has been described as a sterling performance in Dion in the French League. Uh, she, of course, uh, apparently has been in fine form, but was excluded from the team, while 38-year-old Onome A.B., Francisca Odega, and Chiwendu Iuzo, who had not played in any competitive match for any club for over 11 months, were instead included in the squad. So we've invited uh, this morning Wally Scott to join us and uh, share his thoughts on this and uh, let us know where we go from here. Uh, how big of an issue is this? It's big. It's really big because um, don't forget the coach um, is new. He doesn't know our players yet. He's not looked into them yet. And um, this list was actually given to him. This is what we heard from the, from the NFF, headed by Amadio Penic. And um, first of all, Oparanozio was first of all um, sacked of the captainship of the Super Falcons for no reason. And then Asisa Toshwala, who is my personal person, was actually put as the captain. Asat is one of the youngest players on the team. And then you don't invite her. She plays for the French Le Championnat. She plays regularly. Now, let me explain to you this. Odega and the rest of them all play in China. And right. when the COVID-19 pandemic started, they couldn't make it to China. So they've been in Nigeria for 11 months. They've not played regular football for 11 months. And Okwaranozie has been playing in the French Le Championnat. She's been playing regular football. First of all, you strip off the captainship. You, make, you bring in a Oshuala, who is one of the youngest in the team. And also a brilliant footballer. So she's now a brilliant footballer. But you see, sometimes in these things, to be a captain depends on experience, really. Not about how brilliant so you are. So do you agree that she's been sidelined? Well, she's saying she's been sidelined. She's saying they don't like her. I mean, the NFF don't like her. That how can a new coach who should be studying footballers and she's been playing regularly. And the, you put four players in the team who play in China, who have been in Nigeria for 11 months. How? But do you think there's any rationale that? to that? You, what do you think? Really, because uh, she, she, she says she's done nothing wrong. First of all, she was stripped of captainship for doing nothing wrong. Now she's not been called to the team to play in Turkey. And she's been playing regular football in our league. And then you bring four players in that team who have been at home for 11 months. Mm. You, let's, let's, let's how, how do you think this might impact you know, the whole team? First of all, when she was stripped of the captainship and Oshola was made the captain, um, people spoke and said, a ah, small girl amongst all these elder ones, you know? That caused a lot of furore, but she was like, let it go. The, the captain knows best. Like yes. the, the coach knows best. Now, the coach has left. He left our wall, upset without leave, just left. And then there's a new one. The new one doesn't even know our players yet. Hasn't done one match training session with the girls yet. And then he brings a list and she's not there. It's, so, it smells. So, so, so what normally should be the things that a coach should look through before appointing players or before calling up players? Well, well we would expect that um, our, our coach, um, be, uh, a, a few weeks before he becomes the main coach, yes. actually looks at footages of these players playing abroad and all that, you know, and then get to know the ones who are in Nigeria here, of course, most importantly, try and build our league. And then he will now write a list. This coach might have looked at footages, but I don't think he knows our players well enough. If he does, he would not call four players who are in Nigeria for 11 months and leave one who is playing regularly in the French Le Championnat. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, so... So the girl says it smells of hatred, it smells of... Um, but but, but how, how, how can a coach hate her without knowing her? That's because we, all, we have all confirmed that, or we all know, it's obvious that the list was not from him. The NFF. Mm -hmm. So whatever the NFF... She says the NFF has something against her. And it's very obvious right now. Okay, one other very angle obvious. here that she's raised, she's saying that she feels that she's been sidelined because she took part in protests in France over you know, unpaid bonuses. And that was at the 2019 Women's World Cup in France. And another statement here saying the, the, the NFF told her that she needed to push harder to be selected. How do these two things play into this consideration for the team? She, she, was, she, she shouldn't have done the protest. She did the protest not in Nigeria, 
abroad, and the foreign media, Nigerian media, picked it up and said, oh, what F1 tree? You're actually, you're actually protesting against the NFF. But she has a right to protest. She has a right to actually say this thing is wrong. And she says that the reason why she's been sidelined now, she's been witch-hunted, is because she actually protested in the first place. And now, Ahmad Jupinik is the head of NFF. He's someone who doesn't like to be... He doesn't... Don't look at him. He doesn't want to be asked questions. He just wants to tell you what he wants, and you must do it. And she protested. Hmm. And she says she's paying for her protest. Can, anyway. uh, and it seems right. Can the Falcons do well without a Paranozzi? Yes, of course. Oh, no, the team will do well. But it's just the fact that um, will. she was the captain. She would have her own loyalists to the team. Indeed. Will it affect the team? I don't know. And talking no, about loyalists, know. lots of our fans on Twitter are you know, pushing out support, saying yes. she might have She's been, been sidelined, side but she means a lot to them. And she should be strong that even though, you know, she who's been working on her game has been sidelined. Other people without the club have been included. Exactly. You know, but she should keep her head up. My mind. fear is she has her own loyalists too. She was captain for a long time. And my fear is, um, will the loyalists take her side? Will they not do well on the field of play? I don't know. I fear for that. Mm. I oh. fear for that. Well, all the best to the Falcons. I think that's the most important thing. Um, individual players, yes, might have issues, but the most important, you know, aspect or factor here is that the Super Falcons. Uh, we've seen players. We've, well. we've seen players go um, against coaches and play badly. So, All right. Mm. I fear for that. Best of luck. Thanks, uh, Wally Scott, for Thank stepping in and much. for being Thank a part you. of uh, the Thank program. Thank you, Anita. All right. Um, that's where we wrap up this morning. It's been a pretty interesting run uh, from, uh, of course, a news review today in history and the very important topics that we had uh, as a part of our discussions this morning. We hope you did enjoy. If you missed out on any of these, join us on social media at Plus TV Africa, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Same with our YouTube channel. I am Osao Gi Ogboa. I am Annette Felix saying have a beautiful Wednesday. Bye-bye.